How you doing, everybody? I'm Chuck Kopic, the host of News Sport Talk. Momentarily, we're going to go live out to uh, Seattle to pick it up with Junior Ken Griffey, the young Seattle Mariner. But right now, Big D is the name of the game. We're going live down to Dallas, Texas. Big D, the home of uh, Jerry Jones, Barry Switzer, Emmett Smith, the Dallas Cowboys. I want you to meet the newest member of our new sport team for a very special, I mean put it in stone, special news sport update. It's a new sport update. Thank you, Chad. I'm Matt Creeks, and this is the new sport update. Over 8,000 runners competed in this year's Boston Marathon. Ideal weather conditions provided a fast track for all runners as Cosmos and Deddy from Kenya took the men's victory for the third straight year with a time of two hours, nine minutes and 22 seconds. Uta Pippig won the women's race for her second straight triumph in a near course record of two hours, 25 minutes and 11 seconds. On the ice last night, the Hartford Whalers had to go into overtime to beat the Ottawa Senators four to three. Mark Messier's shorthanded goal proved to be the difference in the Rangers' 2-1 win at Tampa Bay. Elsewhere, the Kings outskated the Flyers 5-4, and the Florida Panthers were two goals better than the Ducks, 6-4. Finally, the Women's Tennis Association Tour stopped in Houston, Texas this weekend for the Houston Women's Tennis Championship. Top-seeded Steffi Graf met Asa Carlson in the finals, with Graf breezing to a 6-1, 6-1 straight set victory. With the win in Houston, Graf ran her record to a perfect 18-0 in 1995. I'm Matt Creeks, and this has been a New Sport Update. New Sport is the sports news channel. Now back to New York and Chet Kopic. Chet? Prime beef, top of the line. Secretary to Churchill Downs. Kid's a phenom. My advice? Get him an agent right now. Start the negotiations. Seven-figure minimum. Hey, I'm Chet Kopic. We're back in a moment right here on New Sport Talk. <laughs>